I mean, I feel like it's already a great resource where I can get all the you know information about how, what how brands are doing and you know, what changes are happening. I feel we, as long as we knowledge share, we have more brainstorming sessions and we invest in research. So you know, we can we can get all the information as we can. I feel that will be um, really helpful uh, in terms of a community. I'm a firm believer in in, in the power of the network and and. and networks like like loyalty 360s um so just getting together having meetups and webinars sharing information uh you know sharing uh, battle stories so to speak from you know from the trenches i think that is that is super important especially during covid because we're seeing so many different new trends and new types of broad and and you know we we I don't think that we fully understand the impact that this is having on our business yet or the long term impact so just getting together and sharing information is is just so important it's really really key and really important in terms of loyalty 360 i think you're a great organization um you know some of your content is fabulous um i think a lot of it that i've read is um you know the, the the what people are doing and i think that's interesting i think um for a lot of folks out there i've been interested to know the, the the why and the how as well so i think in terms of you know showcasing some of that innovation in terms of not just what it is but why it's important uh, how it's being implemented uh, and, and just some more detailed um, case studies as they really to showcase some innovations going on um, you know, behind the scenes almost, I think would be uh, very, very interesting to a lot of people. Um, you know, every industry is different, every business is different, but I think some of the techniques and the learnings and the thought process, um, you know, can be shared uh, yeah. and will apply universally. And I think as people are looking right now, we've got a program, we're doing something, the world has changed, is it working? Could we be doing better? Should we try something different? Uh, and, and where do we start looking for that? to get inspiration and the ideas and I think that can be like a 360 and so that would be my kind of advice is just bring together some of those use cases the what the why and the how um, and you know a great platform for people to learn. For me I think what you're doing with a lot of these different panels and being able to provide research and insights on things around technology advancements and just you know the networking opportunities um, I think is, is priceless so you know being able to have access to Go to different, um, you know, other other counterparts in different industries. Here's what ha here's what's happening in their industry, best practices. You know, kind of learning from them on different business cases and things that they've done. Um, incredibly helpful. You know, to just feel like you have this sort of safe environment to share information and exchange with others is is really important. And I think it's it's just a way that we should all work together to make us all better, regardless what industry you're in. Um, about you know, just bringing higher service and products to our customers. So I'm, I'm really enjoying the opportunity that, that you bring on that front. And then again, I think on the technology side, always being able to understand like what's on the forefront, what do we need to be looking at um, as we you know, make our three and five year plans. So, so listen, businesses need more insight than ever right now, right? Um, sometimes we get caught in our own echo chamber. And I think customer needs have clearly changed and they need to be heard. So. I think generationally diverse discussions, you can call it a town hall, you can call it a focus group. I think the more conversations that an industry group can uh, can facilitate between real consumers. Um, so we're, we're a bunch of smart people trying to accomplish a goal. We have our own little bubble, right? Um, but I think being able to hear from you know, folks who are not necessarily in the, in the industry and trying to understand uh, what their needs and wants are. Um, we can probably farm a lot of that away, but I, I think it can be really genuine. And I think there's nothing more important than, than what, you know, an industry leader hearing customer feedback on a product that either they're distributing or they're, they're making happen. Um, and I think that that's a way to get back to that personal interaction. Right. Um, and with Zoom, so much as possible, or, or any other tool that you use, to be able to bring those voices online. And I think it also, uh, it's just gonna make us smarter at the end of the day.
So that would be my, I don't know what the format would be. I'll leave that up to you guys because you're terrific at putting those types of formats together. But whether it's a town hall or it's a, it's a discussion that's cross-generational and diversely represented, I, I think it's super key to, to be able to understand what our audience is saying um, in a very genuine uh, environment and in a genuine voice. And, uh, and, and it would be up to us to, up to, us to listen and, and to really, really be able to react to it. So that's my one suggestion.